Hey Ovid LC, it's Trey here for Tuesday, December 3rd. Learning Spot, located in S12, is a place for any student to get help with any subject. Students are encouraged to attend sessions at Learning Spot. All you need is to do is show up. The Learning Spot will be open on most Mondays through Thursdays before school and at both lunches. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Ott. Daniel Topping is Student of the Week. Congratulations. Please send announcements to OE at OETV at OVDLC.org. Looking at the sports schedule, today Varsity Girls play Genesee Christian at 5.30, JVE and Varsity Girls play Mount Morris home starting at 5.30, Varsity Boys play Genesee Christian home at 7. Wednesday, wrestling is in Ionia quad meet. Thursday, JV and Varsity Boys basketball play Mount Morris home starting at 5.30. Freshman basketball also plays Mount Morris at 5.30. Friday, wrestling is away against East Jackson in a girls only meet. Saturday, team competes in a Grover Memorial Invitation. Also, Saturday, Varsity Bowling is away against Lakeville at 2. Looking at lunch menu today, we are having beef tacos or salad. Wednesday, we are having chicken drumsticks with assorted breads. And here's the weather forecast and a special presentation. Looking at the weather for today, light snow is expected with a high temperature of 33 degrees and a low night of 27. Humidity is at 75% with 11 mile per hour winds and a zero chance of precipitation. This is Tom for Skywatch Weather. Back to you in the studio. Hey guys, it's Nick Kramer with Senior Send Off, and I'm joined with Landon Atkins. Landon Atkins, um, what are some of the things you do here at Ovidelsi? I mean, I, I'm a classmate. I do some classes, you know. Mm -hmm. That's about it. I don't do anything really much besides bowl. I bowl. Yeah, tell me a little bit about, about bowling. I know you uh, do. Do you have fun with bowling? When did you start? I love it. I actually started sophomore year and didn't play junior year. But I've been doing a little bit of junior gold and leagues. So what, what does that mean to people who don't know uh, what a lot about bowling? I'm not that familiar with it. Uh, basically, it's just, I mean, you bowl with other high school students and you do the best you can and try to get the top of the boards, mm -hmm. basically. You as many spins. Are you doing it this year? Yes. Awesome. Um, what are you going to do after high school, Landon? Are you going to continue with bowling even after high school casually? I'm going to try to. I actually got a college that has a bowling team, but yeah. What college? UNOH, University of Northwestern Ohio. So what town is that in? Lima, Ohio. And how far away is that from here? Three hours, it's about 200 miles. So are you going to stay here after high school or do you plan on staying maybe around Ohio where you're going to college? I'm thinking about coming back after college, but that's about it. What are you thinking about going into? What are you going to college? Four. Do you have any ideas? I'm going for high performance and automotive. That's okay. what I got, and then obviously the normal general classes. Well, what, tell me a little bit about uh, what that specialty is in. Uh, it's, you know, like high performance parts for motors. It's make car go faster, basically. Okay. Um, do you think any Ovidalsi classes help prepare you for your college experience? Definitely some algebra math will go into it, but Overall, that's about it. Do you have a favorite high school experience? Maybe something that you wish you would have redone? Honestly, like, first homecoming was definitely one of the coolest moments because, I mean, it's the first time you ever experience it. Mm -hmm. That's about it. How was this homecoming? I actually didn't go to it, so. I Why didn't. not? Because I was busy and I just mm -hmm. didn't have time for it. Dang, I didn't go either. Um, so what, what is something that you are going to take with you after high school? I mean, being here four years, right? Yep. Um, probably just, I mean, being as open as I was, I mean, second half of high school. I definitely opened up a lot more. That's mm -hmm. about it. Do you think, uh, do you think Ovid LT prepared you for life after high school? Or do you think that maybe some of the socialization you had outside of high school is what really... I think it was a little bit of both. It, school has definitely helped me become a little bit more open, but 
I think a lot more of it was outside of school. Mm -hmm. Any, uh, anything you, you would want to say to yourself freshman year? Uh, be open as, as much as I was senior and junior year. I mean, that's about it. Any, really any advice to freshmen that you wish you would have had? Be yourself. Definitely be yourself and don't worry about what other people think. Well, thanks so much for coming on, Landon. It was great hearing about what you're going to do after high school. Thank you. Hey, I'm, uh, oh, I don't got to do this part. Uh, who are you, who am I here with? I'm Gavin Barrett. Gavin, um, you're in RISA, right? I, I was last year, not this year. What RISA were you in? I was in the, like, IT one, is the best way to put it. Like, we worked on computers and all that kind of stuff. So, how, how did you enjoy that class? Well, I've always had an interest in, like, computers and stuff like that, and just electronics in general, so I was like, that class sounds like fun, and it gets me credits, so I'm going to take that class, and I enjoyed the whole thing. So, so Risa gives you college credits, do you plan on going to college, is that why you took the class? Uh, I'm, it's, I'm very split between just becoming a mechanic apprentice, and then, or just going to college, because I'm going to go to college, might as well go for like IT and stuff, because I'm not going to go to college to be a mechanic, mm -hmm. it, it'd be a waste, in my opinion. Is that your dream career then? Yes. Mechanic is my dream, dream career, but if I can't make it in that, then I always have computers. Do you think Ovidelci prepared you for life after high school? I mean, you got a pretty good grasp on your career. Uh, not, it's like a yes, that's like a yes and no, because a lot of the classes here, they, it's all like, oh, past, in the past we did this, in the past we did that. It's not, that's not how life is nowadays. It's a lot different on the real world. Like... I, like, I mean, the only class I know right now that I, is, like, I should be able to do is accounting and business math. Mm -hmm. That's the only class I have that I think I should really listen to. So you think, like, the application of classes is kind of hard to apply to where your life is going to be after high school? Yes, significantly. Because, I mean, I'm not going to need to know how to write a full four-page essay and be a mechanic. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, IT maybe, maybe, but that's a stretch. I see what you mean. And so, um, uh, what, did, what, what OE class did change you the most? Was it business math? Was it uh, your Risa Auto classes? Did you take Woodshop? I think it was the IT class that changed me the most because up until then I, just, I was just like roaming around the halls, just doing my work, maybe not doing my work, but you know. Because I think a lot of people know I kind of slept a lot in class and stuff back then. Is that what you think you're most known for at Ovidelti? Oh yeah, 100%. I would sit there and sleep in class all the time. So Any any advice for the watcher? You're, I mean, you're pretty insightful on what you think school's done for you. What do you think that people should know uh, that are going to be continuing in high school? I think you should, up until like sophomore, senior year, you should just stick in classes, get your GPA up and try to do good but after that you can you don't have to like completely ditch everything but like you can slack a little bit more and relax and have more fun your sophomore and senior year it's definitely a lot more uh stress-free after SATs or oh yeah 100 percent well thanks for coming on Gavin it was great talking to you no problem always a good time talking to you guys awesome well that's our show have a great day Marauders